Good morning in the garden. There's a kitty. Oh. Oh. There's a fly on me. Here I am in the garden. I stepped on a duck. Oh, look at the strawberries. These are alpine strawberries. They're small. But they taste good. They have a good taste. They're sweet. Oh, there's a yellow jacket. I'm glad he's not bothering me. The kitty's looking through. The kitty's peeking, peeking out. I wonder if yellow jackets stink kitty cats. Because the kitty cats are always back here. So I want to plant these bulbs that I got. These saffron bulbs. Let's see. Does it have any tips? Full sun to partial shade. Four to six inches. It grows four to six inches tall. Um, plant four inches deep. Um... Okay. They multiply, it says. Hmm. It says you got to plant right away in just days. Because they will poke up in the early fall. So they say space them out like six inches now. I don't remember what six inches looks like. And it also says four inches deep. Not sure exactly what four inches look like. This is like one inch. I don't even think this goes four inches deep. So let's just, I mean, I want to plant it in there, but I don't have soil and that goes pretty deep. I don't have enough soil to plant it in there yet. So I'm going to plant some right here. It looks like the saffron bulbs look like, um, like it has golden hair, a golden hair on the top. It's really cute. Six inches. I don't know how far six inches is, but... I think they want you to spread them out because they multiply. So probably every year. It says it says you could pull them out in 10 years. So they're perennial. So you get them every year. My little seedling. I will move you right here. No. Here somewhere. Okay. You see the golden, the golden hair. I'm gonna cover it. Now, I don't have that much space in here, but I'm gonna try to plant some here. Uh, one here. I'll put one on this side. I'll have my little sidekick with me right now because my husband is scared of the yellow jackets. He thinks there might be a nest back here since I got stung twice. 
but I only got stung back here once and I got stung once in the house because I guess one of them got in during the day I guess and then maybe they were looking for me I put tea tree oil on I think that will help repel them so yeah oh I want to move this pot I think if their nest is anywhere it could be somewhere where there's a hole in the ground no, I'm not scared of it right now. Oh, I don't know. Because I don't, I don't know if I should be or not. But. <laughs> but, um. You know, I just have to pray the Lord will protect me. And, um, I'm not coming here to disturb their nest. I'm just coming here to plant my bulbs in the morning and um, yeah it's a beautiful morning I think I'll plant some bulbs here I have my sweet potato vines here I haven't pulled them up yet and I'm wondering do I have sweet potatoes under there and should I pull it up to check if I have sweet potatoes I don't know I it never came to a flower so it's hard for me to know. They say uh, when the flowers are, when it flowers, then you probably are ready. Ah, there's a mosquito. Mostly the whole year I didn't get bit by a wasp. It's only like at the end of the season I, I got bit by a wasp. So... I always get bit by mosquitoes though, and they're not really dangerous, they're just irritating. Ooh, I found worms! I hit the jackpot! The worm jackpot! Wormies, come here my little wormy friends. I'm gonna put you in the garden. Oh, oh, oh! Come here. Don't leave. Don't leave me. Little wormy, come back. Oh, the worm got, they know how to get, ooh. That looks like a yellow jacket. You see that? I don't know if it's dead or alive. But I'm gonna smash it, make sure that, I think it's dead. Make sure that thing is dead. Though I know there's some that are alive. Yeah. And the mosquitoes are definitely alive. So this is some basil I have here. Some basil. I don't think it's been getting enough sun. Here's an onion, like right there. And my, uh, my celery is looking good. I guess I could put the bulbs over here. Although the broccoli is growing here, so I don't want everything too close together. The pepper is starting to grow. Here. Peppers, peppers. I'm gonna pull a pepper off here, here. Because I feel like if there's too many peppers, it has to focus like so much on too many peppers at once and then you won't get a pepper. Let it focus its energy on one pepper per plant, like for now. I mean, because this plant looks a little weak to me. All year, I didn't have anything. Ooh, 
finally, here's a little pepper that I could actually pull off here. I could actually pull that off and put it in a salad or put it in a something. Something to eat. Calendula's looking good here. They're just little pretty petals. And this looks like the calendula seeds here. So I can save that. I can put it in an envelope. Like, you know, when it gets all dried up and everything, save it for next year. So maybe I'll put one saffron bulb here. Though they do multiply, it says. So, oh no. I do have peppers here, sweet potatoes, carrots. The carrots. Last time I pulled a carrot, there were aphids on it. So I don't know how that's going. I think there was um, those weird bugs that eat carrots also. Carrot fly, I think was eating the carrot. And they say you could buy a carrot fly resistant carrot. Like there's certain carrots that the fly doesn't is not attracted to. I'm thinking about getting those. Over here is a hollyhock. And um, it was planted. I can't remember. I think in the spring. The hollyhock was planted in the spring. So we won't see it till next year. The problem with the hollyhock is they're very susceptible to rust disease, a rust disease. So that's a little scary. Cause once you get that rust disease, you just wanna like, you have to like get rid of it cause you don't want it to spread to the other plants. But it produces these very pretty leaves. I'm wondering if the leaves are medicinal. I have to look it up. They kind of look like squash leaves. A little spiky. They smell nice. And I have carrots growing here too, next to the hollyhock. You know, when you have a small space, you just, and you don't have a lot of soil, you just try to grow everything close together as much as you can. The nasturtium, the oregano. I was just spotting a, a yellow jacket. I'm a little bit more aware of them now. Like, I wasn't that much aware of them before, but now I like, if I see one, I see one. I don't see that many, so I can't be sure. It's possible they have a nest back here, but it's also possible they might not. I mean, it looks like a good place for them to find a nest. So, I don't know. But I see these snapdragons here and I wanted to plant some snapdragons. <laughs> 